Make plans to be an intentional, generous giver. Write it down. Write it down. Write out plans. The Word tells us, as you receive a vision, write it down and make it plain. Sometimes we, we, we just think, you know, I'll go through life and God has this great big plan and I'll just kind of stumble onto it. And there, it is true that as, as we intentionally say, okay, God has plans for me, and so I'm going to be a planner as well, and I'm going to step into his plans intentionally and follow him. It's as if we stumble on to blessings and, and God uses us in things, and, but actually, even though it feels like we just stumble onto them because there's doors that we didn't see and victories and opportunities, all the while, him being intentional and us following him and following through is what brought us to that unseen victory, breakthrough, blessing, being used of you, you understand what I'm saying. So in reality, it didn't just happen. He made plans, and then you made a plan to get in his plans and follow him. Amen. <laughs> Write it down. Meditate on the word and think it through. What is he saying? Think it through. As you're following him. Now, don't leave everything to what you come up with. Stay open. Because often what I write down, what I think through, I have to be flexible. Understanding that I see in part and I know in part. And so the, the bigger and the more full picture is revealed as I'm following him and following through. Amen. I know this part isn't as, you know, the preaching like earlier that gets you shouting, gets you going, but this is where we follow through. Amen. This is how we put it into practice. Amen. Know that you will grow as a generous giver. The point is to start intentionally. So it's one who is stepping into the plans of God intentionally and saying, I will follow him as he follows through on his word. I'll write it down. I'll make it plain. I'll meditate what he's saying. God says, start where you are. Don't get aggravated at yourself. Don't beat yourself down. Because you will grow as you go. Mm -hmm. Amen. You grow as a generous giver with your life as you go. Amen. We're becoming like him. But we must start somewhere. Amen. And so he says, come back. Come back to where you were. The people in this building... They've been through all kinds of stuff. And you look back at times in your life, you know. And the enemy's plans have been to take you out, to set you down, to sideline you. But he's lost. Right. Because God has a plan. And as you come to him <coughs> intentionally, he says, I bring you back today Amen. to where you once were. But I, I don't stop there. I take you forward. Intentionally. So, I'm just praying about today. Making plans. So, if we're going to be intentional, say, you know, all, all the, quite often I say, put the word in your car. Listen to the word. L listen to the word. What are you, what are you doing, Pastor? You're crazy. What are you doing this morning? You know what I'm doing? Every one of these CDs up here, newer messages. I intentionally choose today to follow through on the plan that I believe in my heart God put in my mind 
is you challenge the people to put the word in their hearts in this end of the 2017, the beginning of the new year, each one of these, I want to sow a seed into your life. Not just hand them out or give them out as the pastor of this church, the leader of two nations, but to sow a seed and pay for every one that is taken. But for you, there are no cost. Why, you just want us to hear you preach? We hear you all the time. No. <laughs> Listen to somebody else that's preaching the truth. Amen. But Amen. at the same time, there's good truth Right here. Amen. Amen. Now I thought about what well, you know, name the CD who wants it. Like, oh. And then I just felt this check and said, if they want it and really are gonna follow through of putting the word in their heart intentionally, then they can at least get up and go get it. Amen. Fair enough. And so it's little things. It's, it's little things that I plan out. And then as I'm planning and I'm following Christ, I'm growing to be a generous giver. So I may, you know, sow a few dollars to see some CDs to Christians, but I grow to the place where, you know, I just have happen to have one on me when I go into Walmart and I just feel the Holy Spirit check my spirit have someone you know maybe they've been in church but they're broken and they're, they're hurting and I had this message one day and I remember it about how one day in his course is better than a thousand a thousand elsewhere and, and I remember this word that one day with God can change everything. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. One day you can go to bed, beat up and broken, and the next day you can get up healed and delivered. Amen. Amen. So I grow as I go. This is one thing to do it in church. It's not that you're safe, even though a few of you think I'm crazy, but that's okay. You're still going to love me because you know you have to because you, you, you want to go to heaven. It's another thing to do it in the in the marketplace or the workplace. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Intentional. By next week, the next Sunday, we'll have laid out a deliberate, intentional plan for trips, mission trips 